Hey, welcome to Blaze Black number uh, 66. Um, the Pokemon Center and everything, Mart, is off there to the left. You can go buy stuff. I recommend stocking up on revives, full restores, hyper potions, you know, and a lot of Ultra Balls, too. And uh, so here's the Pokemon League. You can go into uh, whichever one you want first. It doesn't matter what order you take them in. I'm going to go in here first. This is uh, Grimsley, and he has he uses Dark type Pokemon. And uh, I'm going in here first because I think that this is the one that I uh, that I could that I could do the best against, that I stand a chance of beating the best. That way, uh, I recommend taking them like which which you think would be the easiest and then the hardest. That way, your Pokemon can kind of level up. So here we are, Elite Four Grimsley versus Matt. Actually, he's challenged by me. That's fine, whatever. So he starts off with Absol, and of course I start off with Boris. And Boris is faster, and gets off the Mega Horn. And that is a dead Absol. So all of the Elite Four uh, Pokemon, all their teams are consisted of uh, five level 71 Pokemon and then one level 73. So that's how they're all going to be. He's going to send in Honchkrow now. I don't need Boris taking him on, so I'll send out Eugene. I was gonna say, I hope, I hope this thing doesn't have like earthquake. That would be just my luck, you know. But he paralyzes Eugene, but Eugene still gets the thunderbolt off, and this should kill him because Eugene has pretty good special attack, and it does. So now Eugene's at level 70. Next to Sharpedo. Um, I'm not gonna keep Eugene in just in case he can't attack because of the paralysis and Sharpedo might get like an Aqua Jet or Aqua Tail or whatever it is he does. So it's in Smug Leaf who uses Leaf Blade which is super effective and he was holding a Focus Sash so that kind of sucks a little bit. Smugglyf's defense goes up from the crunch. The uh, contrary kicking in. Most of these uh, Elite Four, I think all of the Elite Four members only have, like all the gym leaders in this game, they just have the one item, the one, either Hyper Potion or Full Restore. I think these guys have a Full Restore. I didn't notice what he used just then. But I think they only have one item. So once they use the one item, that's pretty much it. So next he sends in Crocodile, or Crook, I think it's Crocodile. The ground guy. He's his Earthquake. Hopefully the surf takes it out, but I don't think it I don't think it does. No. So he'll use Earthquake again. And that will be a dead Vera. That's fine. I mean, you know, there's gonna be casualties. So I send in Borth, and Brick Break should do the trick here. And it does. So Boris is doing well. I mentioned, I think, a couple videos ago that Boris is gonna be like my my hero in all these Elite Four battles, just because his typing just kind of works out with all the uh, different 
Pokemon that the Elite Four members have. So he uses Torment, which basically means I can't use the same move twice. And that sucks for me because the Giga Impact missed, so I can't use it now. So I have to use Strength, which is super effective on this guy. So I tried to use Strength again, but yeah, I forgot about the Torment. So he's his Flamethrower, and with that nasty plot up, that will kill Stoutland. So I go to Smugleaf now, um, who will hopefully be faster, but he's not. But Houndoom just does the Torment again, so we can we can deal with that. Dragon Pulse kills the Houndoom, and now we're at 74, which means Smugleaf is now ooh Draco Meteor. Smugleaf is now a uh, higher level than any of the other Pokemon we're gonna battle. Draco Meteor is a good move. I think it's, I think it's a lot like Leaf Storm. That it's the uh, the dragon like version of Leaf Storm. That when you use it, it'll lower your special attack. But in Smugleaf's case, it'll actually raise his special attack since he has Contrary. So yeah, a Smugleaf with Contrary with Leaf Storm and uh, well, he doesn't have Leaf Storm, but with Draco Meteor. That's pretty broken, if you ask me. So that was his level 73 right there, the little Power Ranger. And that's it, we defeated Grimsley. It was actually not a very difficult battle. I think uh, I think only two Pokemon fainted, Vera and uh, Stoutland. So that's going to be it for this video. I couldn't fit the other battle in here, so I'll see you in the next one.